Navajo Basin. Well, we do want to open as soon as we can. Chief Operating Officer Alan Hensroth has worked enough seasons. This is my 36th year at A-Basin. To know that this time of year. They want to know. People want to know when the basin will open. I'm pretty good at answering those questions. And while it's been warm enough for tourists from Florida. It was 50 when we left Florida and we flew into 80 degrees in Denver. To wear shorts. Till the snow <laughs> starts coming down. I'm still in shorts. The basin's been able to make some snow. We had a, a great couple of days of snow making last week. It's warmed up a bit since then. <laughs> While also hammering out plans for their next 10 years. We're really thinking not about what the place looks like today, but what our guests and our employees are going to want and need in 10 years. With ideas to improve beginner terrain, build a pedestrian bridge, and maybe add two gondolas to replace parking shuttles. We are talking about a couple of gondolas and another chairlift, which I know instantly freaks some people out. But uh, these are very small lifts. They've got very specific purposes in mind, the arrival experience and the learning experience. And while these are big plans, they're only ideas now for later seasons. And after that, we really gotta go through the approval process. Because Alan says they still have to get this season going first. Yeah, we still gotta get open. <laughs> there is a lot of work to do. Boy, and they do want to get open at A-Basin. As much as anybody, they want to get their season started. And it is a long one that usually goes from October all the way into May or June. So they want to get that rolling here. And Alan says, really, it's just a couple of days once it cools off and they'll be able to open for the season. And it is really an interesting thing when you look at the race and ski areas in this area. Loveland tries to get open early, but they've got a whole run from top to bottom that they're trying to cover. Here at Arapahoe Basin, it's mid-mountain to the base area. And when it warms up, that base area can be problematic. While over at Keystone, they typically try to get the top to mid mountain open and then download people. And because they're higher in elevation, sometimes that gives them a little bit of an advantage. But Jordan and Erica, it's anybody's race right now for getting open. They really need some cold temperatures to roll back in. That might happen next week. Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. Matt, you and I both know very well whoever opens first, even if it's just a sliver of the mountain, <laughs> It is going to be crowded with lines just going up and down and up and down. It is a big deal in Colorado to get that opening day and everyone comes out for it. And so whether it's Keystone, Loveland or a basin, people love it. The state loves it and it's great news for Colorado. So let's get it going. Let's get like the season it. going. Yes.